Hello everyone, this is Kadir. Welcome to my Mind Dressing YouTube channel. Today I am going to talk about WAM Server, how to use WAM Server for PHP web application. Now I am going to download WAM Server from Google search. start using I'm server based on the your OS and configuration you can download any server so my system is 32 bits so I can go with VAM server 32 bits and PHP 5.5 and 2.5 version okay downloading here you can download here i download vam server 2.4 i'm going to install this version next You can choose your drive based on your recommend. If you want, create a quick launch icon or create your desktop icon. You can click on the checkbox. Next installing. Since we are going to test the uh, PHP application locally, so I will keep it as a local host. If you want to give your email address, here you can update your email. The WAM server has been installed in my C drive. This is the WAM server drive. Here you can get the WAM server files. Under this www folder, we can upload, we can place our PHP files. For example, when this is the default index file for page localhost WAM server file. For example, I will open, I will open a localhost WAM server. So the default page would be WAM server home page. Here you can have the uh, PHP info and PHP admin uh, links so that you can install, create uh, databases, or upload a yeah, PHP file and test in browser. Have some page files, multi phone. Copy. Okay, I have some PHP files. Let me check. It's opening in. Okay, it is opening working good, but there is some error. It's a database error. So we have to create some database for these PHP files. So if you want to create local databases, you have to log in to PHP My Admin. For example, you can go from uh, web server home page uh, by clicking on the PHP My Admin. Then it will ask uh, a username password. Oh, the default username would be the root or pass 
password would be the blank just i click go yeah here you can create database file click the databases okay. create database file for example my db i'm clicking create okay, the db has been created here you can create uh, your table or if you have any already sql files you can import here i have some sql files so i'm going to browse and import the sql file i choose the sql file now i'm going to import the sql so there is some limitation importing the sql files so it says i exceed the maximum size permitted by php configuration so you may change this configuration so that we can import large sql files here to fix this issue i'm going to increase the db usage size and memory size as per this guidelines so i'm going to open first the first we have to increase memory limit in vam server bin apache apache 2.4 then bin there you will have a php ina file so i'm going to open with notepad and find this settings what are the settings need to post max size okay here we have post max size i will change it to 50 mb upload max size file size Here, the next one memory limit. Here I will increase file tool MB. That's it. I will save and close these files. As per the guidelines, next we want to change one more PHP INA file under this location. I'm going to open in php so let me check once again here we have one more php ini file the same way as i did in the earlier file i'm going to change here also i will increase to 50 mb okay and then what is the upload max size files Changing this also. Memory limit. Okay. 
this okay i'm increasing okay this also this i'm increasing memory limit 5 to 1 mb okay so we have completed let me try once again to download my skill files in my host browse oh. okay sorry we have to restart the bam server so that our changes should reflect in bam server if we want to restart bam server here in status from status bar you can click the bam server icon and click the restart all services okay next we are going to open again the php my admin the most we can click on the php my admin okay, go again we are going to try to import the the mysql db files click import browse the file cs4 see once again see this our changes reflected here so i hope we can import the file now SQL files successfully imported. Okay, so click this DB files. Here we have tables data. Okay, if you want to create uses for this database, here we can go privileges and add user. So, for example, username. Kadir and type that password here. Retype the password. These are the MySQL privileges. Here Check on. I'm giving full support for these users. I will go. That's it. I added one new user for this database. If you want to write queries, you can write under these queries tab, your column on the sort, and MySQL queries panel. Here you can write the queries and submit. Under operations, we can create a new table or remove table or delete the database. So, if you want to again upload any new websites, here you can place the, your PHP files and web files under BAM server or www folder. You can create new folder so that I separate websites under this BAM server. I hope that you have learned BAM server installing and creating database in PHP admin and uploading uh, PHP web application files under local host and run the website in local PC. Thanks for watching my channel. If you have any queries, please write email help at myinterestrate.com I will see you next time. Bye.